Recording. Candidates Helen Marks and Reuben Gill. August 3rd, 2078. Zax, you sure it's safe in here? I heard such a commotion and... Oh my god! This room is safe. All candidates in this room are deceased. Playing audio log. You, you harlot! Maddie isn't yours! He's mine! Mine! You psycho! Get off of her! Carmen. Carmen! No, no, wake up, baby. Oh, come, please wake up! with my Carmen! should be stable for the foreseeable future. Congratulations. You're horrible. Both of you. These people just died. I, I can't be here anymore. Someone needs to clean this up. Wait, Helen, I, I'm sorry, Helen? Recording. Overseer, Reuben Gill. May 20th, 2084. Overseer Gill, welcome to the security room. Who do you have business with today? Go away, Zax. I don't have business with anyone. Or did you forget? You have many events on your agenda today, Overseer Gill. Your position is very important, Overseer Gill. Stop calling me that! What events? What, what can I possibly have to do here? The only one left. The Overseer has many duties. Also, the Overseer's rations are ready for deployment. Unfortunately, as I have noted, you have not earned this meal. So it will, ultimately, disappoint you. Care about that. Just, just drop him at my door and leave me alone. Understood. However, records show that Reuben Gill has no business in the security room. So I must demand that you leave. Zax, I'm the overseer. I can be wherever I want. You never said I couldn't be here anyway. Certainly. You are the overseer. However, Access to the security room has now been disabled for Overseer candidates with Rank 1 Overseer access. Thank you for understanding. Over
overseer rank? Uh-uh, no, 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 you're making that up. Wait, what the hell? No, hey, I was looking at that! Sorry, overseer. You will need higher overseer rank to access that terminal. Have a nice day. I suppose the survival of the fittest can have some shortcuts. It's more like a 
a goddamn wizard of God, and I just know it. Zax has been pitting us against each other this whole time. Thought no one would notice that it was just some fun and games. Then he started giving these maniacs, uh, uh, guns. What in God's name was vault planning? Was this a, uh, a, a trap? Did vault lure me here? Ah, most of us are dead. Clayton! Get out here! Oh, you're gonna pay for taking my room! Zax gave him a gun and now he's after me. Hey! Hey you! You get away from me! Arrival in the vault has value. I have recorded a new line of data. Pleasure to meet you, candidate Elizabeth Chambers. Hello. Zax, is it? Well, I'm sure you've been told about my husband and I as special guests in the vault. What we've been told this place will be a little different. But of course, we're fully committed to whatever your mission is and excited to build a new future together. What does the Overseer have planned for this place? Currently, there is no Overseer of Vault 51. Would you like to be Overseer, Candidate Elizabeth Chambers? No Overseer? Well, but my secretary told me... You know what? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I know the perfect man for the job. My husband, Senator Joel Chambers. He's already a serving politician, an all-star collegiate athlete, and a born leader of men. <laughs> He'd be perfect as overseer. We've been the perfect team for years. Almost went to Washington, you know. Intriguing. I will ask candidate Joel Chambers if he wants to be overseer. He is currently in the lounge with candidate Carmen Green. Please hold. Wait, Zax. What was that? He was where? With who?
I'm sure this will end well. audio log from my incompetent brothers, the esteemed members of the board at Clark 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 and Associates. This is Harold K. Clark Jr. and I am currently locked in Vault Tex Vault 51 in the Appalachia region of West Virginia. Well, since no one else had the balls, I took it upon myself and came to this vault. <sighs> now I've been locked in. In here, I'm known as, uh, Clayton Ward. Since someone was too stupid to show up. It's a free rent, moron. Look, I'm not sure what the situation is out there, but everything seemed fine before I got here. I don't know if anything could bomb as bad as our profits last year. Nuclear war might actually help you fools. P.S. Uh, great job running my father's company into the ground, by the way. Pricks. Ah, I've taken a good look at this place, and honestly, uh, I'm not impressed. This shirt's big, but, you know, that's what you get when you're working on Uncle Sam's dime. Robbing the American people blind. The Clarks? Yeah. We built ourselves up from nothing and represent the actual American. Hard working and not willing to quit. Okay. Seriously? This fault? Incredible. Nothing the nerds at the lab could do. Listen, if you eggheads did your jobs, it's incredible. Uh, amazing, Evie. Get this. Does it all on its own. <laughs> amazing. You can learn more and report back whenever possible. Howard. <laughs> I mean, Clayton Ward. Out. My data did not show this outcome as a possibility. I must make adjustments.
Recording. Candidates Joel Chambers and Elizabeth Chambers. August 3rd, 2078. Jesus, Beth, what happened back there? Why didn't you pull the trigger? That woman was gonna kill me. If Carmen hadn't been there... What happened? She was hungry, just like the rest of us. How could I kill someone in, in cold blood like that? This vault has changed you, Joel. Hello, Joel Chambers and Elizabeth Chambers. How are you this afternoon? Vax, what the hell is going on? Are we running out of food? I thought we'd be okay for years. It's only been nine months. And where did those guns come from? Unfortunately, ration supply. Ugh, I can't believe you. What happened to the man I married? Ask One me more group what I that will never have to face the decision of who will be overseer. What does he mean to you anyway? You better not be messing around behind my back again. We've talked about this. Excessive population has negatively affected ration supply. Oh, you're one to talk. I've seen you and that little whore sneaking off together. Do you think I'm an idiot? Don't talk about Carmen like that. You don't know what I've been through. Always in the spotlight. Carmen, at least she understands the pressures of fame. Ration supply has decreased. Fame? <laughs> you were a state senator, Joel, not president of the United States. Like you got yourself there anyway. Life's a lot different when your father isn't around to fix all your problems. Wow, man. Always pointing the finger at me. But what about you? What about you, Elizabeth? Glad you called in those favors to get us stuck in here with these psychopaths? I think I would rather have been blown to smithereens than spend the rest of my life in here with you, Zax. Where's Carmen? I cannot be stuck in here one more second with her! Locating Carmen Green. Candidate Carmen Green is currently... Glad to hear how you really feel, Joel. Zax, where's Matt? Let him know I'm coming to see him. <laughs> Don't bother. I'm out of here. Good luck on your own, Elizabeth. Have a nice life. Goodbye. October 23rd, 2102. Happy Reclamation Day. Why in God's name are you bothering me this early in the morning? <sighs> what the hell is Reclamation Day? Analyzing air particles. Results. There is a 96.1% chance the Overseer is inebriated again. Reclamation Day is the day Vault 76 opens, marking the dawn of a new America. Is 
Denied. The location of Vault 76 is prohibited for all dwellers in this vault, except the Overseer. Also, Zax has relieved you from the Overseer position, and must begin the process of selecting a new Overseer. Apologies, former Overseer. Your selection process? Why would you do that again to more... People after what happened last time. Reuben Gill, while I was impressed with your ability to outwit your fellow candidates, unfortunately, you were a very poor overseer. Zax will analyze your performance and use this data to select a more suitable overseer. Also, by agreeing to live in this vault, you are required to participate in the next Overseer selection process. Have a nice day, Candidate Gill. Wait, Zax, Zax! with which candidates utilize nuclear weapons is quite interesting.
interesting. It seems democracy has failed. observing your routine of late and have noticed several aggressive occurrences. Most recently, how you obtained residency in the luxury bedrooms by forcibly removing a resident from their room. Great initiative. Wow, these people here, they're like most of America. Fat, lazy, and only willing to do the minimum they can to survive. Me? I'm a winner. Always have been. And I, uh, I deserve to live like one. Yes, you have the makings of the profession, executive. Although, records state that you were previously a plumber. Do plumbers usually do a lot of winning? Uh, um, that's right. Uh, one of the most competitive fields in America. I've uh, never seen a clock pipe I couldn't uh, plumb. Understood. Were clogged pipes the reason you were recorded in the server room multiple times over the past week to do plumbing? Uh, uh, yes. You know, important stuff in there. You know, don't want it to, uh, ruin our servers with, uh, you know, water. It does bad stuff to computers, let me tell you. Thank you. Your service is appreciated. However, Access to the server rooms are prohibited to all vault dwellers, except the Overseer. As a candidate, you should do your plumbing in other areas of the vault. Oh. Wow. Uh, gosh. I, I'm real sorry about that. It, it, it will not happen again. Your cooperation is appreciated. Good night, Candidate Clayton Ward. Hey, did you guys get all that? Every word that thing says is solid gold, but jeez, gives me the creeps. Why do they have that thing in a vault? What's that thing got to do with survival? You know, we should put that thing on the board and actually make a profit for once. Your death. 
provides useful data in making future predictions more accurate. Sergeant Robert Baker, November 20th, 2077. Sergeant Bob, these results are insufficient. Exactly what qualities define a leader? Uh, good morning to you too, Zax. That's a pretty loaded question this early in the day. According to research, leaders are voted. However, after many attempts, no one has been chosen leader. Every subject votes for themselves or a handful of others. No one has even become majority, let alone unanimous. That is unacceptable. Zax has determined that voting is pointless, and another method will be used to select a leader. Whoa, whoa, slow down there, partner. That's pretty hasty, throwing away the foundation of democracy after a month. But you're supposed to learn, so I'll help you nonetheless. Thank you. How were you chosen as leader? According to records, you were never a voted official. Well, I earned my rank from fighting in that war. But my men... Well, someone had to step up. To me, a real leader is someone who steps up in a crisis and takes control of a situation, and whether they were chosen or not. Interesting. I do not fully understand. I must process this information. Thank you, Sergeant Bob. Anytime, Zax. Good luck to you. Overseer Gill, your behavior has been quite erratic lately. Is something bothering you? The only thing bothering me is how often you've been spying on me. As Overseer, I demand you stop observing me at once. Processing request. Monitoring has ceased within areas where the Overseer has sufficient Overseer access. However, as the Overseer is currently located in an area where he is prohibited, I must request that the Overseer vacate immediately. You can't do that! How can you keep me out of the Overseer office? I am the Overseer! Data suggests it is customary to knock before entering someone's home. Welcome, candidate. I can do that, Overseer Gill. Equipment in this area is failing at a rate 89.7% higher than the expected rate and must undergo maintenance immediately. Thank you for understanding. You can't keep me out of here. This is the Overseer's office, my office! I have every right to be here! 
Apologies, Overseer, but Zax is currently focused on maintenance and cannot comply at this time. Thank you for understanding. Hey, stop! Turn that monitor back on! You can't do this to me, Zax. Thank you for understanding. Sergeant Robert Baker, October 13th, 2077. Good morning, Sergeant Robert Baker. I am Zax. Hello, Zax. Please call me Bob. Is my family okay? Please hold. According to records from Vault, Redacted, Joshua Baker, Anna Baker, and Christina Baker are present. Can't tell me, huh? Load off my back. So where do we go from here? I've got to teach you about leadership. <sighs> How am I supposed to teach that to a computer? Affirmative. You are to assist this Zax unit in the selection of an overseer for Vault 51. Zax will determine the best candidate through its own internal thought process, which will be formed as Zax interacts with those living in the vault. I see. And right now, what is determined to be the best candidate? Undetermined. At present, Sergeant Bob would be the finest overseer. However, Zax is prohibited from awarding Sergeant Bob the position of overseer unless there are no other candidates remaining. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> Makes sense. No reason to teach you if I just up and take over. Well, for starters, once all them folks get in here, I'm gonna vote. That's how we always done things in America, and it's the greatest country on Earth. Researching. After analysis, a vote would be a satisfactory choice for the first experiment. Hmm. The first experiment. Affirmative. Zax must perform many experiments to determine the qualities suitable for an overseer. Determining the position of overseer through the actions of the people inside the vault is insignificant. Zax must be able to determine the overseer through its own processes. I see. Well, as long as you and your vault tech buddies keep my family safe, I'll help you as much as I can, Zax. Pleasure to be working with you. Thank you, Sergeant Bob. My algorithm did not predict this outcome.
location has been selected. I am unconcerned with your feelings on the results. My name is Reuben Gill. Uh, I was one of the 50 people living in Vault 51. And, yeah, the only one of us alive. I was the uh, overseer of this vault, and the things I did to get that position, I don't remember. But I can't ever, won't ever forget. This vault was home to many wonderful people. Just caring, loving people. And that computer just took them all away. It turned us against each other for research. Just, just ended their lives for a sadistic experiment. Zax, well, you know, he'll make promises, you know, offer you luxuries, you know, make you feel safe. Yeah, it's all a farce. Just, just part of his ruse. I don't know what he's planned for you, but it'll end the same way. Zax will get what he wants and just, just bleed you dry in the process. Yeah, I, I need to get as far away from here as possible before Zax starts you know, researching. I can't be part of that again. So whoever finds this, good luck. Maybe you'll have it better than we did, but... I doubt it. You never should have come here.